Today, the project I'm going to share with you is a water bottle holder. So basically, it's a little purse to carry around uh, your water bottle in, which can be really handy if you're going for a hike uh, or walking for a, a long distance and you want to keep a bottle of water with you and it's hard to, to hold on to that. So it's a very simple project. Again, something that a beginning sewer can easily uh, accomplish. So let me talk you through it. Uh, first, you're going to need two pieces of fabric cut about 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. This is a square. Now you may want to measure your water bottles that you get and you might need to adjust the size, but this will hold a standard water bottle. Okay, so I've cut two pieces of fabric 11 and a half by 11 and a half. This is just a plain cotton woven fabric, uh, but I have uh, adhered some iron on interfacing to the back of one piece of the fabric, not both of them, but one piece. And so you can see that interfacing is already there. And that's to give us a little more stability, to uh, uh, give us a little more weight to this fabric. And so it works a little bit better uh, for this project, okay? Now, uh, I've also cut another piece of fabric 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and that's gonna be the lining or the inside of our water bottle keeper. Now, the first step, is really to mark where you want the straps to be. And so an easy way to do that is to take the outside fabric, so the fabric that you have interfaced, and fold it in half lengthwise. And then you're gonna fold it again. And this time, let that folded edge be about half an inch from the cut edge. And that's because we're going to allow for our seam allowance. Okay, so we're gonna use a half an inch seam allowance. And then I want to mark the middle here. So you can see I've already stuck some pins here. You could just press a crease in or even finger press, but you need to mark that halfway mark, okay? And so when you open this back up, whether you've pressed or marked with pins, you need to have two marks here that denote where to place your straps. Now, um, normally our straps are a little bit longer than what I have to demonstrate. Uh, when we made this project for our class, we used straps that were 28 inches long. And so that's a good place to start, but you can kind of decide how long you want your straps to be. So I've just pinned this strap in place and I've centered my strapping right over that uh, pin mark or if you did a crease mark so that you know where your straps go, all right? And next, uh, we're looking at the right side of the fabric. I'm going to put the right side of my lining down on top of this piece. And so with right sides together, then I'm going to pin across the top, okay? So my first seam is just going to be sewing these two pieces of fabric together with the strapping sandwiched between the outer piece and the lining. Okay, and again, I'm going to use about half an inch seam allowances. So I'm just going to go to the machine, get this set on my half an inch. And we should be ready to go. So a few stitches in, back stitch. As I approach my pin, I'm going to take that out. Made it to my first strap, so I'm going to take that pin out as well. Now, often when I'm making a purse or bag, and if you've watched my tote bag video, you know I typically backstitch over uh, the straps, and you could do that here. The only reason I'm not is because these are going to be top stitched again later, so they are going to get reinforced. They're going to have more than one layer of stitching. As I get to the end, I'm going to back stitch again, and then I'm finished with my first seam, okay? Now, ideally, you take this to the ironing board and give that a little bit of a press, um, but we're going to now, you can see what this looks like. We're going to fold this in half, and now we're going to sew the side seam, okay? So we're gonna match our seams at the bottom or match our seams here in the middle that we just made. And so I'll put a pin there to get that marked first. 
and then you can pin the rest of the way, okay? So I'm gonna put just a couple of pins in and we're gonna sew this side seam. Now the trick, or the only tricky thing about the side seam is that we are gonna to have to leave a hole in it, but we wanna make sure we leave the hole in the lining portion. We don't wanna to have to leave a hole in the outside fabric portion. And that's because we're gonna to have to turn this later, and you'll see. So let me make this seam. Again, about a half an inch seam allowance. Take out my pins before I get to them. And we'll sew along. Now, I'm kind of uh, pressing those the seam open as I get to it. Again, if you are at home and have more time, then you're gonna take that to an ironing board and press that seam before you sew this one, okay? So now as I'm getting into the lining, I wanna pick a part, uh, pick a place about in the middle. I'm gonna back stitch a couple of stitches here and I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna move down a couple of inches and I'm going to start sewing again. That is gonna, again, leave me a hole so that I can turn this right side out in a minute. And you think, you have the top and bottom open. And that's true, but I want it just a moment. Now, the next step is the one that really uh, makes this water bottle different than just making a tote bag or a purse. Uh, we're gonna take this and we're going to uh, kind of finger press or you can mark with a pen, the middle, and I want to bring my seam and press it open and bring it back to that mark and pin it. So I'm pinning the center, centers together here, okay? And then the odd part is now I'm gonna take uh, the outside edges and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kind of finger press those or I can pin them so I know where that middle point is and I'm gonna take that in as close as I can to where I've just pinned, okay? So I'm gonna bring that to the middle and then fold it back on itself so that it looks like this. Looks a little odd, but it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So again, you take the center crease here and bring it to the center of your project, right to that pin. Okay, and so then you're going to lay it back on itself and pin it. And then you're going to stitch across the end here. And we want to back tack or back stitch. And we're just going to keep sewing right across the end. making sure to back stitch there at the end of the seam, okay? So, a funny little seam, but that's what is gonna make this neat little bottom to your water bottle uh, keeper. So, you're gonna do the same thing to the other end that you did here, so you're gonna make that little bottom, and then, once that is sewn up, you'll have to actually pull it through your hole that you left, but I wanna kinda turn it for you to show you kind of what it's gonna be when you get it all finished. Okay, so this is what it will look like and your last step will be to go back and top stitch around the top again. So you're gonna to wanna to give that a press to make sure that you've got your um, top even, you've got your lining to the inside, you've got your top fabric to the outside, and here's where you're going to get to top stitch again, which is going to make those straps more secure. If you want to back tack on those or back stitch on those, you can certainly do that, but that gives you a quick and easy little water bottle with a cute little bottom, 
And again, this size does fit a standard water bottle that you might buy at the grocery store, uh, but you can certainly make the size a little different if you want to use a different, uh, a different size water bottle to carry. So anyway, I think this is a fun, cute little project. Notice the top stitching here at the top on my finished product. So uh, let me know how you like it. I hope you enjoy making these. Thanks.